Hello everyone and welcome back to Juno New Origins where I continue my career in version 1.0.4.0 and in the comments Pedro suggested that we should do the satellite contracts like this CubeSat mission because there are other satellites that get unlocked by that and so I am going to try and go as fast through these as I possibly can. So we will pick that up and let's get building. I'm just going to use the fairing. We probably won't need a bottom stage and I mean it we're gonna go fast we don't need these I'm just modifying this rocket I probably should have just kept that rocket but we'll probably be able to build something better later anyway the no gyro thing will still hold and uh, for this top part we're going to just go like that take those off uh, put this on top of there and we probably aren't gonna need nearly as much as all that for our purposes um, oop, Let me just get that like that and delete those Okay, so we were going we are going to have well in order to have a accurate insertion We're going to have the RCS here. We didn't need the solar panels because we're not gonna be at it for very long and it is just an insertion, so we don't need that much by way of RCS tanks. So it is like a Delta stage now. That is my intention. And this would be like a Thor stage. So the Delta stage would be a pressure-fed mob propellant. Well, it would be a hypergolic, but um, let's see what kind of... Well, we get uh, 284 here, and then if we... Uh, go mob propellant, mob propellant, it's less. Let's just go for a care lock. So there, and we need this bigger though, because this was a thrust weight ratio meant for interplanetary things. And we are not going to be doing that. Um, I'm going to rotate this engine. Well, I'm intending to use this for many of the satellite contracts. I'm just going to rotate it so that's not clipping the RCS tanks. And we are going to need more tankage, so maybe we can, um, I really want more, I guess I've got to remove everything. Oh, I, I still can't make it bigger. Okay, fine. You know what, I'm gonna use two tanks, because then I can size that without removing half the things. Oh, what is, what are these attached to anyway? I thought they were attached to this tank here. Okay, now they are. So I am going to use an extra tank just so that I can keep everything attached to this. And now we can use fuel lines properly, I suppose. I mean, I don't know if it's necessary or not, but... Carolox. Okay, now we're getting a fair amount, but now we have too little thrust weight ratio. I generally want to see the delta V about the same as the exhaust velocity for efficiency's sake. Well, that's not too far off, and three minutes is probably a lot. We're going for a proper looking satellite launcher. And so in here we will have our CubeSat. Well, hopefully it'll be alright in there. This is obviously suited to larger payloads, potentially. But right now it might not be that great for that. Let's see, we don't need that much battery. Okay, well this is overdoing this for this CubeSat, but I'm gonna take it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and launch. Village pad is fine. Okay. Ball up, and that ball out, and stability assistance there. I'll, I'll just have the RCS off, and ignition. I've, I have done something wrong. Oh, that's what I get by rushing, huh? Okay... I guess I had staging messed up. I think we can recover craft, surely. Uh, yeah. Let me check staging. CubeSat deployer was stage one. <laughs> Who decided that? Okay, that looks better. Alright. Now ball out, follows up, and uh, stability assist. 
and of course RCS off and launch. There we go. There's no inclination requirement. We're actually going to aim for 142 first because it's always good to do prograde burns close to the planet. So, and let me do a roll program. Oh, I, I don't have roll control on this stage, right? I guess I can't do a roll program. That's fine. It doesn't have anything causing me roll either. So that's good. Okay, we can throttle down. Okay. And separation. And fairing. Alright. We can probably do with less thrust weight ratio on this stage if we want to. Yeah, we're definitely overdoing the TWR on this stage, so I'm going to probably just aim for the periapsis, coast, and then reignite. We have the RCS here anyway. Okay, well, that's a little bit past what I wanted. Okay, we'll activate RCS and time warp. And ignition. And okay, 186 by 143. And detach the CubeSat. Okay, and let's deorbit this stage like good space citizens. Okay, that will be deorbited in flight and safe flight. And next, we will use the same thing. Um, all right, it looks like the same thing. <laughs> uh, they don't have a different one. Fine. Uh, we're just gonna try and grind these out here. Uh, launch, I guess. Okay, throttle up, nav ball, stabilization, and RCS off, and launch. I mean, it is a more expensive rocket than, strictly speaking, we need to have for this purpose. We saw that we have plenty of Delta V left over, but again, it's uh, oversized. We're, we're doing, for once, the legitimate rocket agency thing of having the same rocket launch a whole bunch of things, right? Again, my uh, control of this would be a little bit better if I could roll into the easterly axis, but right now I can't, so I'm sort of discreetly whoop, trying to do things. Okay, I think I incurred quite a lot more heat this time. I'm being very rushy. RCS, please. I mean, we could do a lot of throttling, but the coast to Apoapsis thing is just fine in this context. Okay, that's precise. Well, now it's not because of the RCS. Oh, uh, no, no, we wanted to release the satellite first, then turn around. Sorry, sorry. Okay, it is precise-ish now. Okay, release satellite. Okay, now deorbit. Okay, end flight, next! <laughs> Feeling like SpaceX with this launch cadence and everything. Okay, CubeSat contract, a little bit higher. Alright, fine. No problems. Launch! <laughs> no inclination thing. If uh, it was less than this pad's uh, latitude, we would probably want to use the other pad. But it isn't, so... I mean, it's not got an inclination requirement, so... Okay... This is certainly not the smallest rocket I could use for this business, but... It's certainly not giving me any trouble. Problem is, they give you these satellite contracts one at a time. If they gave them to me like three at a time, we could knock them all out <laughs> on the same launch, right? Uh, I mean, they are CubeSats. You're supposed to be able to put more than one on. 
From the look of it, there are only two unit cube sets, too. Okay, 267, coasting. And ignition. Oh, a little bit past. Alright, detached cube set. And retrograde. And deorbit. And end flight. Okay. It's another CubeSat mission. <laughs> oh, there's two of them now. Two sats. Hmm. Launch of two CubeSats. But this is one CubeSat. Uh, just what I wanted. More CubeSat missions. Um, so, uh, we can pick both of them up. These both have to go to... I mean, but is it not going to be happy if I have three cube sets? I don't know. Hmm. Well, we're going to find out. Well, we actually have to build this time. Does it have to be on a node? I could put them on the sides again. <laughs> um... Let's see, do we have one of those little uh, attachment node thingies? Block. Right. Uh, much smaller block, please. Oh, no, this block... Well, okay. Can I not size the block? Oh, okay. Th th this block is not what I was looking for. I'm looking for a little attachment node. But, uh, okay, uh, this, this, this is an alternative. And I want the cube sets to attach. I can't make the cube set attach to you? Why? Okay, cube set, why are you so picky? Well, they, they, apparently the cube set does not want to go on that node. Uh, maybe it's because of rotation? Ah. Uh, here, let me bring out a new cube set. Oh, now, now, the new cube sets can go on those. Okay. Fine. That's fine. Okay. I think, uh, that's probably okay. Right? <laughs> uh, let's find out. Uh, let's check staging first, though. Mage engine, payloads. Um, okay, we want one CubeSat deployer and then two. We do have the ability to make five stages. Okay, looks good. Still under 10 meters. Right, that is the first one. Periapsis 80 kilometers is really tight, isn't it? But, okay. Uh, so actually we want the two to go first. Uh, okay, let me... Can we restage stuff here? I guess not. Okay, um, let's roll this back. I need the two first and then the one. Okay. Alright, now ball throttle. Lock and turn off RCS. Okay, and launch. Well, this time we really don't want to go beyond 80. Or much beyond 80. I think it'd be safer to go a little bit beyond 80. And payload bearing. Okay, so this will be the first continuous burn one. And of course, all we want is to not go down much from 80 kilometers.
or go up too much. Uh, right here will be fine. And oh, uh, we passed it, we passed it, shoot. Uh, okay, RCS please. Okay, uh, in this case, because the other mission is a higher periapsis, I am going to release them retrograde, which probably means they are going to deorbit, but let's not talk about that. Uh, uh, separation? Oh, uh, but, but, I got the two. I didn't like carrying both. Hold on. No. No. Um, how do I do... Okay, well, it's okay, it's okay with that one after I... Uh, it's weird. It's weird. Let's just say it's weird. So I, I couldn't do both of them at the same time, it looks like. Um, well, the orbiting... The, those things aren't long for the world either. But... Uh, I think we just saw them fly past, though. Okay, that's disposed of. So we have that other one. This one's a one CubeSat again. I was told that we were going to get something other than CubeSats. <laughs> so, anyway, fine. Fine. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, we just don't need all three anymore. Okay, throttle up, nav ball out. I don't even know if we're making money on these, but it hardly matters. Small launch companies, you know, who knows if they make money or not. Okay, and uh, turning off RCS. And launch. Ah, the game thwarted my grand scheme to... Do both contracts at the same time. I guess you have to deploy all the CubeSats you have on board in order for it to count. Yeah, uh, the only orbit you can deploy to is the orbit of the contract. It won't like it if you deploy a CubeSat to a different con uh, different orbit. Have they not heard of the rideshare programs? I mean, that's mainly what CubeSats use. <laughs> Picky customers, I tell you. Okay, separation, fairings. Okay. And that's fine on the periapsis, coasting. And ignition. Uh, well, they like it, but let's... Yeah, that's better. Okay, separation. And deorbiting. Yeah, I think our rocket costs more than the contract, but we won't talk about that either. <laughs> I'm just trying to grind them out, I don't care. I just... Speed is more important than the money. Okay, that is done. CubeSat mission, CubeSat mission. Uh, let me just get some technologies. Maybe, maybe we don't have the right technologies. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I mean, technically, none of these here say that they have new contracts, but... Um... Well, what harm could it do? Trap door, small bay, cargo bay. Pixie engine. I don't see those being particularly important. What are you even trying to do? I think you were asking me. <laughs> Requires modern engineer. I mean, hydrolox is nice. Staged combustion. I think somebody suggested doing uh, rovers and sending rovers and airplanes and such. 
Um, maybe airplanes. I don't know. I'm very picky about airplanes, though. New contracts. But they're probably the wrong kind of contract. I don't know. Nothing up here says... I'll just get explosives with a hole just for the sake of filling out this tier. And... Paint shop is a dead end. And modern engineer for the sound of it. Hard skin. Hard skin's got a box around it, but that just... I don't know. The dead ends seem to have that nice little box around them. But we've got 50 points. Where did they put the little attachment nodes? Or did I just not see them before? I guess I'll save the tech points, I'm not sure. Alright, continuing continuing to grind. CubeSat mission. Well, this one pays more. That's 40. Uh, contract 48. This is contract 47. Whatever. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> uh, but I feel like I should trim it a little bit, but no, let's just go. I mean, because it's more expensive than the contract pays out, but... Alright, yeah, let's just run through them. Launch. Okay, not the most efficient ascent, but separation, fairings... Anyway, uh, if it doesn't give me something more interesting than CubeSat contracts soon, next time we are going to aim just for tech points. We'll see, because we have in the career thing, you know, where we can get the tech points. And we'll just try and assemble a mission to get an optimal number of tech points somehow. We still haven't visited TT, the other moon of of Drew, so that's an idea. Okay, that's 385. There are also special landing spots on Luna and Rigo as well. We could land in those. Okay, I'm a little bit late here. Prograde. And burn. Oops, didn't want the fuel tank. Okay, deploy. Perfect. And flight. Safe flight. Uh, small sat mission. Here we go. Three, three million. I don't know how big a small sat is. We're about to find out. That's also to a higher orbit, too. Okay, let's see. Small sat. 110 kilograms. Oh, uh, does it completely replace the CubeSats? Oh, I guess if you don't have a CubeSat mission, they don't give you a CubeSat. Okay, does a small sat have its own deployment thingy? That is not as small as I was thinking. <laughs> uh, whoa, okay. Well, so much for this thing being suitable for multiple payloads. Well, we might as well go with the diameter of this here, right? Oh wait, the little RCS ports are gonna get hidden like that. Oh, they're doomed. Where did their symmetry partners go? Okay, well that's better for those. So yeah, I, I don't know whether I need a inner stage for this, but I guess we'll find out in the staging. Mage. Oh yeah, small sat's its own thing. Okay. Might want no, nah, it's probably alright like this without the side fairings. Okay, now we have to check all the stages and stats of our rocket. We don't have enough Delta V right now. I think we need to turn this into a gas generator one. Electric. Electric pump fed is that 
good compared to... I mean, a gas generator is 263. How do you figure an electric pump? I mean, electric pump is like what um, Rocket Lab has on theirs. It's not that good. <laughs> I don't know what the logic is there, but... Um, hmm. I'll take it though, I mean, uh, is it really expensive? No, the gas generator is much more expensive. So electric gives me more efficiency. And uh, the gas generator gives me more thrust, but we don't need more thrust up here. Mm, thrust to weight ratio intrinsic to the engine. This is 18.9 kilonewtons on 33 kilograms. This is 76 to 253 kilograms. So there's no real intrinsic thrust weight ratio uh, improvement. So we definitely want this. Yeah. Pressure fed would be cheaper, but not that much cheaper that we don't want this. We want this. <laughs> uh, yep, definitely. I think 1.05 is just about right there. We have the RCS tank still. I could... Uh, no. I could move the little RCS ports here. Oh, symmetry no longer works for them. Why is that? There's probably hidden RCS ports somewhere, aren't there? Once I resize the tank, it broke symmetry. I bet there are RCS ports buried inside. Yeah, see? No! Silly game. Just the ports. Um, how do I convince you to delete just the port? Uh, let's just gizmo out the bare ports. Oh, I can't gizmo it out. Okay, be that way. I am going to resize the tank, and then gizmo them out. Or delete them. Okay, you go away. Ah! You. Mmm! It just wants to delete the whole tank when I do that. Now oh, that just duplicates. Okay, I've selected an RCS nozzle. Delete. It deletes the whole tank! I don't have time for this. <laughs> I... Uh... Okay, um... We gotta increase the size of this tank. We got... We are going to delete this tank. We're just gonna... Put that on there. And then... Have... Put copies of these uh, RCS tanks on. Okay, hopefully that'll be fine. Let's check that the inner stage is not too short. It's a bit too short. The rocket is too tall now. Oh, this, uh, we probably want a gas generator down there. Well, I don't know. Maybe we could do with a bunch of little uh, electric ones. Might be better. Yeah, let's just duplicate that and have, like, five of them. Nope, five, five will do. Just not a whole lot of thrust-weight ratio initially. Uh, not thrust-weight ratio, sorry, delta V. And then the upper stage has a lot more. But then again, it has more ISP, so... Maybe that's for the best. 1.6 minutes is not too shabby. And look on the bright side, it seems to be under the contract cost, so. But right now we're just a tiny bit too tall. Let's see. Uh, that makes the little sat clip. 
Uh, this thing... Can you be shorter? You can be shorter. Could put a little bit more battery in, but... Still 10.2. Um... Great, we've attached everything so we can't shorten this too much. But I guess we can reduce the nozzle length a little bit. 10.1. Okay, five little engines on the bottom. Sea level thrust weight ratio 1.47. Stage one is a little bit underwhelming as far as the Delta V provided, but the upper stage sort of makes up for it. I don't know about these electric pump things and why they're so efficient, but let's just go with it. It's a high orbit though. Hopefully this will be enough, I'm not sure. It's pretty high orbit. Hmm. Well, let's find out. Startle up. Well, we can roll this time, so my trajectory's not gonna look as bad, hopefully. This time we'll hug it close. I don't like going to 646 initially. We'll go to 80 first. And then... Or just above the atmosphere first. Boost up to the high apoapsis. And then... Go up to the periapsis. Wavy tail. <laughs> okay, staging. Uh, fairings. We should probably keep pitch up here. It's not that long a burn time though. Okay. We are now boosting that apoapsis. And that's 1224. And coasting. We're a little bit into the atmosphere. But that's fine, we're on the way up. Oh, it's really dark out here. Oh, up, up, up. Let's not go too far there. Alright, RCS on. Prograde. And ignition. Okay, that looks perfect to me. Separating off the satellite. Sorry, it's in the dark, but here we are. Okay, and we have 400 meters per second. I think we can deorbit. Retrograde. And ignition. Hope we don't toast the small set. And that's deorbited. Alright, and flight. Save flight, save and exit. Okay, well we had our first small sat mission at least. And, and they've given us three CubeSat missions. But this is five CubeSats and that's seven CubeSats. So maybe that's interesting. Or maybe I want to do uh, tech hunting. We're uh, going for t the tech points in various locations, or maybe these mil well, these milestones are sort of like, do I really want more explosions? I don't know. Unique docks. What does that mean? And as many unique craft together as you can. Well, 50 is a lot to ask, but at least there's something to do with, uh, I guess you could consider it a space station contract, so maybe. Maybe that's interesting. But TT is out there. And then there's Herma. It depends on uh, what you call it, uh, what the transfer windows are for the other worlds, Falco, Sergeia. All right, so we've got possibilities, uh, but for now, at least we got to the small sats one time, <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll get some other kinds of satellites in the future if we grind a few more out. But uh, I should probably uh, break things up a bit with different things. So anyway. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.